You'll begin in the seated position. On the command to go, you'll run towards the first cone and around. Head towards the chair and circle it. Heading back towards the cone then back towards the chair. Once you run around the chair, start heading towards the four foot broad jump. You should jump before the blue line to the mat. You should put both hands on the fence and then climb over it in a safe manner. Once you get to the obstacle, you get on your hands and knees and climb through and you'll run around the right side of the cone. You'll then run towards the mat where you'll begin bag rolls. Once you reach the dummy, you'll straddle it with your right knee down. Begin by using your momentum to make a full rotation ending with your left knee down. Then you'll do an out rotation in the opposite direction ending with your right knee down. Then again for the second cycle, end with your left knee down, and then complete the cycle by ending with your right knee down. You'll then transition to push-ups. We'll be utilizing a four inch foam block as a guide to show you how far you have to go down. Make sure your back is straight with good form. Once you've completed the push ups, you will repeat the broad jump, four foot fence climb, and two foot obstacle. Once you complete the obstacle, you run around the right side of the cone and head towards the step ups. You should begin by stepping up with your right foot followed by your left. Then you should step down to the floor with your right foot followed by your left to complete one repetition. You'll then transition back to the back rows. Again, make sure to begin with your right knee and follow the instructions previously given. Once you complete two cycles of bag rolls, you'll again transition to push-ups. Once you complete the push-ups, you'll transition back to the bag rolls and complete two cycles to finish the course. Once you complete the first course, you'll be required to take a mandatory 10 minute break. You'll begin in the standing position and run from cone one to cone two. You'll circle cone two and then return towards cone one. You'll circle that cone, return towards cone two. Once you circle cone two, you'll head back towards the step ups. Once you reach the step ups, complete them as previously instructed. Once you complete the step ups, you run back around cone one towards two, you'll circle cone two, and then head back to cone one. Once you circle that, you'll head back to cone two. After circling cone two, you'll head towards the 165 pound dummy. Once you get to the dummy, you'll have to get it into a seated position and then lift it off the ground by the strap on the front using your legs. You'll then have to drag the dummy 25 feet until the designated line. You'll have to take the dummy across the designated line before turning. You'll then drag the dummy in the opposite direction 25 feet until you cross the line where you began. Once you cross the line, you've completed the course. Please refer to the list of information to contact our recruiter and we look forward to seeing you in the future.